What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, I'm going to be making a cool rustic, uh, I don't even know what you want to call it, but it's a cool iron angle framed table with some stained wood, so stay tuned. So here we go. We're finally going to be doing some metal work here on the channel. We're going to be uh, doing some grinding, some cutting, some welding. It's going to be a good time. So this is the angle iron that we're going to be using. It's inch and a half by inch and a half. So yeah, let's just start cutting up and start building our table right off the bat. Let's do it. So the first thing you need is you just need to know the size of the table that you want to build. Uh, I'm going to build my table four feet by one foot depth and then uh, three feet tall. So the metal that I already have, or the metal that I got, is already actually pre-cut to the sizes that I need. So all I have to do is just miter the corners so that they picture frame together and then I can weld them up. Hopefully this is making sense. Probably not, but as I go through, it'll make complete sense. So let's go ahead and start mitering the uh, angle. So we're gonna start off doing the tabletop, so we're just gonna need one, two four footers, and then two of the uh, one footers. That'll be our top, so these will go away for now. These are our legs, they're three feet long. So we'll go ahead and start marking these out. 45 miter, just right across here, whoop. So we'll mark out on this side, this side, this side, this side, and then on both sides of these. So now we got all four pieces marked out, so we're gonna use this cutoff wheel to uh, cut it. Make sure you wear safety glasses or even a shield, face shield, because these things tend to break and it's super sketchy. Now we have all of our pieces cut at 45 degrees, so now they'll fit together nicely. We got the short ones over here. So now we're just going to lay them out just like this. And they're going to fit together just like that. Like that. And then down here, like that. And this one will go right over here. Just like that. See how that picture frames together? Then you weld it, and then it will look like it was all one piece, basically. So, now we're just going to break out our uh, welder, and then tack it together, square it up, make sure it's square, and then we will uh, fully weld it, and then we'll go from there. So the welder that I'm using, it's just a cheap, like $400 Lincoln welder. It uh, uses no gas, it's just a flux core welder. So it's just a hobbyist welder. So not expecting much. I haven't had a lot of use with it, but it's cheap and uh, it does the thing. So now we have the frame just tacked up. It's not squared, but we're gonna go ahead and square it. In case you're not sure how to square it, you just measure diagonally from corner to corner and make sure that they uh, are the same dimension. And then once you get that, then you just uh, throw a tack here and here, and then in each of the corners here and here, and then that should square it up. So now we have it all tacked up, squared up, ready to roll. This is the tabletop. Uh, the wood will actually sit on this ledge inside here, and this will be the top. But uh, what we'll have to do is we'll have to put a couple spacers in, in here 
so that the wood sits flush with the uh, this edge here. So now we'll go ahead and uh, weld up the corners and then uh, we can start on the legs. We got the welding done. It's uh, turning out all right. Just got to clean it off with the uh, wire wheel. And then we'll uh, be able to start working on the legs. This is about the first time in about two and a half years that I've used that welder, but didn't turn out too bad. Have a little bit of a, some funky right there, but for a home improvement project, it's good enough for me. Not too bad. A little more practice with this welder and I'll, I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's our top. Pretty much done with the top, except for the spacers on the other side for it to hold up the wood flush. But other than that, the top is done. Now we can add the legs to the top. Those are three feet long and we're just going to weld them straight to this so this is the top so we want to grind off the corners here the sharp corners before we uh, put the legs on here just so that you know there's no sharp edges or anything like that and you don't want anybody to get hurt so we're gonna grind those off all four corners and then we can get started on the legs so just to give you an idea that's what I meant if we can focus just to ground down that corner kind of hard to tell but there's no sharp edges on that corner so now we can uh, put the legs right up on here probably use some vice grips to hold them up and then uh, tack them on there make sure they're square it's a nice edge no sharp edges and I try to keep all my grinding marks just right here don't go off here unless you plan on painting yours but uh, I'm clear coating mine so I don't want any grind marks or anything like that to show. And uh, yeah, I just want to preserve this look. You'll see that later on in the video. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and grind all the edges on, both, on all four legs. And then we'll come back and we'll tack on the legs. So, time for the legs. Here's the corner. Here we are. And then uh, here's the leg. Three foot leg. I'm going to do it halfway in between the angle just like that so it's three quarters of an inch I'm gonna mark that three quarter then I'm gonna tack it right on there and then it's hard to tell I got it hanging off the bench but you get the point I'm gonna tack it right on there and we'll do all four corners like that and then we'll uh, flip it over square it up make sure all the legs are straight and then uh, yeah we'll fully weld them and then we'll be on our way well, after a couple fails. I got the four legs on now. They're just tacked on there. I had a couple tacks break and uh, almost hit me in the head. But there we go. We got the four legs now. Now we're going to put the shelf in there. We're going to put a cross piece here and a cross piece there. And then uh, tack those in there, square it all up, fully weld everything so it's super strong. And then we'll be ready for uh, some clear coat action, I think.
well now we have the center shelf tacked in there it's all squared up now so there we go so now we'll have a second shelf the wood will sit right on this lip on the inside there obviously this is upside down so now that I got it all tacked up all squared up and everything now I'm just gonna fully weld it and then uh, we'll be able to put it on the ground and then I'll go over um, what's left A few moments later. All right, well, we have it all welded up now. Got all the corners welded, cleaned up. I should have moved the damn car out of the garage so I had some room to work, but uh, yeah. So I've been struggling a little bit with space, but there's the frame of it now. So now we're just gonna have to cut the wood that's gonna sit on top here. And then on the shelf there and then uh, we also have to do some spacers to make the wood fit uh, flush with the top so we'll go ahead cut the wood right now I'll measure it and then cut the wood and then uh, I'll show you what I mean about the spacers here in a second Boom, there's our top. Looking good. See how it doesn't sit flush to the, uh, here, to the angle? Leaves a little bit of a lip. But, now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like it. I kind of want to keep it that way. What do you guys think? Fighting the sun now. Making it look kind of dark in here. Maybe I should shut the garage door. But what do you guys think? There we go with the two shelves. Let me shut the garage door. We'll come back and look at it. So there you go. We're not fighting the sun. Now you can actually see it. It looks freaking awesome. I like it. What do you guys think? But that's what it looks like with the two pieces of wood in there, the two shelves. But the uh, actual wood, I'm going to stain it the gray color that I used on the uh, fireplace. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link right up here so that you can check that out. But this is going to uh, be gray, and then I'm going to clear coat the frame so it keeps that rustic look. So if you're noticing a theme throughout all the videos, all the remodel that I'm doing is going to be clear coated or black steel with the gray, gray flooring and everything. It's all going to tie itself together. So now all we got to do is uh, take the two pieces of wood, get the uh, stain, stain it gray, and then uh, we'll clear coat the frame and then we'll be good to go and we'll be able to put it upstairs in the living room and it's going to look freaking awesome. Carson, what do you think about the shelves? You like them? Yeah. Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, dude. All right, let's go ahead and paint it. No. No, you don't want to paint it? Yeah. You going to help me paint it? Yeah. <laughs> So here we got the uh, wood. It's all stained, still wet. I'm not even bothering with the sides because you can't see the sides, just doing the top. But we'll just let it dry for uh, the day, 24 hours, probably less than that, but you get what I mean. We'll come back, revisit this tomorrow, and then now we will go over and clear coat the frame. What I'm using is this stuff, it's called Penetrol, made by Flood. I'll uh, put a link uh, down in the description, uh, the Amazon link, but it's about, I think it's about $20 for this can, and it goes a long way. 
I mean, I've had this for like over a year and it's probably only halfway used. And I've used it on lots of projects, so it's pretty awesome. Also, I, I already did a full length video on how to clear coat steel. I'll put a link up here. You can check that video out. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and pour some in here. I barely even need any. Probably just fill it up about an inch. I won't even use it all. And then uh, just this little paintbrush. It's not even a paintbrush, a little foam brush, or whatever you want to call it. So we'll just dip it in here a little bit. A little, little excess come off of there. And then we will go to the frame and then just start wiping it on here just like that. It's self-leveling. It does drip off, so you might want to put something down, but I don't care because I'm going to refinish the floor. But if you look, this shiny... And then that's how it was before, so it stays looking like that. You can't really tell on the camera, it doesn't do it any justice, but in person it looks freaking awesome, it looks good. And this is so far the best stuff that i found, and the most affordable, to clear coat steel. So it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to keep on going, I'm going to clear coat the entire frame, then we'll revisit tomorrow when the wood and this is dried. And then uh, we'll put it all together and put it up in the living room and I'll show you what it looks like installed. There she is. She's looking all nice. Now she just has to dry for at least 24 hours. It might, sometimes it's a little tacky after 24 hours, so it might be maybe a day and a half-ish. But uh, I'll come back, test it, see, you know, touch a spot that's not going to be seen, and then uh, make sure it's dry. And just for reference, if you look in here, this is how much I have left over I showed you before when I started. So to do that whole frame, it really didn't take all that much. All right, it's had some time to dry. And uh, it's in the house, obviously I'm in the house. And it's finished. You guys ready to see this? Okay, here we go. What do you guys think? Got the stained wood up on there. The clear coat turned out pretty cool. It looking good. What do you think? And if you like this cool little uh, tic-tac-toe thing, I also did a video on this. I'll put a link right up here. You can check that out. But yeah, I think it turned out nice. It fits perfect on the wall. Looks good. Yeah, buddy. So there you go. Uh, it was the first time I did any metal work here on the channel. That was fun, a lot of fun. I plan to do a lot more. I got uh, plans for uh, the rest of the house, so that'll be fun. But uh, I just want to say thanks for watching, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, cruise around the channel, check out my other videos. Helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, for now, bye!